Let me tell you a story about South Dakota. Conservative South Dakota has become the first state in 2017 to pass a law legalizing the discrimination of LGBT people. I've said it many times before. Yes, gay marriage can no longer be banned at the state level due to that Supreme Court decision of a couple summers ago. But you can still be fired for being gay in many states. And there are many other ways to discriminate against the LGBT community, not the least of which is so called. I, I know you know what phrase is coming. So called religious freedom bills. This is exactly what South Dakota's SB 149 does, which made it through both the state Senate and the House of Representatives, both obviously dominated in South Dakota by Republicans. This new law allows government contracted organizations to refuse service to LGBT people, including adoption or foster care services on the basis of the organization's religious or moral beliefs. And it was signed without hesitation by the Republican governor, Dennis Dowgard. Libby Scarron, who's the policy director of the ACLU of South Dakota, said, quote, this is discriminatory. Oh, sorry. This discriminatory legislation takes South Dakota in the wrong direction and sends the message that our leaders are more concerned with the desires of religious agencies than the rights of individuals and children in our state. In the end, this bill was never about religious freedom. It has always been about allowing private organizations that discriminate to receive state contracts and taxpayer dollars to carry out their religion's missions. This law also allows taxpayer funded adoption agencies to discriminate against a gay couple that wants to adopt. But it also gives them permission to turn down interfaith couples or single parents or couples in which one of the prospective parents has been divorced or anyone else that the agency says might have a religious objection, even if the people offering to adopt are in the child's family. Now, there could be a First Amendment conflict with the interfaith couples thing. But the real question here, Pat, is how many years is South Dakota looking to regress here, stopping someone from adopting a child in need because they've had a divorce in the past? What year are we in? They seem to be fighting a losing battle here because at this time, sexual orientation and gender identity aren't protected classes. And really, they should be. And that would require some change in the federal statute because it's just like race or religion or veteran status or age. That should be another thing added. And that would have to go through Congress. But maybe there's some hope. Uh, I hope so. Uh, and the key point here is that we're screwing over children. We are screwing over children to make political points. There are kids in South Dakota's foster system who need parents. And because of so-called religious freedom and arbitrary moral codes, they might not get them. If you're a four year old kid, your parents die, for example, and you're put into foster care. But there's a middle aged lesbian grandmother with a nice income and a good home for you. She wants to take you in not so fast because the organization facilitating the foster care or adoption services is a right wing Christian organization that doesn't like gay and lesbian people back to the foster care system you go. And unfortunately, it's pretty common that adoption agencies are religious organizations. This law would also allow agencies to refuse to provide appropriate medical and mental health care to LGBT children if the agency has a quote moral or religious objection to providing those services. And maybe the most jarring thing under this proposed law, this new law, is that agencies wouldn't lose their licenses if they force an LGBT child to undergo so-called conversion therapy to change their sexual orientation, widely debunked and damaging to kids, unfortunately banned in California. Tell me one way, Pat, in which this law benefits kids. I can't think of one way in which kids benefit from this. No, in fact, it's probably the opposite. Um, I think if there's any hope here, it's that I think Republicans may start changing course here because even Donald Trump himself has waved an LGBT flag. Eh. Uh, some senators and congressmen have come out in support of gay marriage. Yeah. So maybe if they're able to do something at the federal level, that would trump uh, what's going on at the state. For lack of a better term. Yeah, I think that it's going to depend on whether you can raise money with these right wing social positions, because no matter what Trump says, no matter what the Supreme Court does and, and regardless of federal statutes, if you can still raise money because you may be a, in favor of increasingly unpopular opinions, but they may still be popular with the people most likely to donate to your campaign. If you're going to be able to use these right wing social positions to continue raising money. 
you're going to be more likely to continue at least taking the positions publicly, even if you don't believe it in private. It seems most of the money, though, is on the side in favor of LGBT issues. I don't know. Uh, maybe less so that a marriage equality has been passed. But now that we have Republicans in charge, uh, the Supreme Court balance could be changed. Yeah. I think they're going to keep that going. I hope you're right. It remains to be seen and we'll be tracking it.